Hi, I'm Connor, and I'm going to talk about emotions, expression, and contagion. Uh, emotions are really important. You can't really escape them. They're a super integral part to the human experience, and uh, we all have them. They're uh, much more than just in our heads, though, uh, as they have physiological, physiological changes. Um, some of these include, like, if you're happy, uh, you'll feel a little warmer. If you're nervous, you'll have butterflies in your stomach. Uh, if you're scared, your heart rate might increase. Um, but just based off these changes, we wouldn't really know. Luckily, <coughs> we have our mind. Our mind is the tool that we use to uh, interpret all of these physiological changes. And that our mind is what how we know that there are emotions. Uh, and because of these changes in our body, uh, we're usually really expressive about it as it, what I mean by that is like people can tell that we have these emotions uh, like your posture will change or your face will change you know your facial <laughs> expressions will change and that is really <laughs> a telltale sign emotional expression is really important as it's usually tied with a more healthier lifestyle you know the saying a, a healthy mind is a healthy body uh, surprisingly enough you don't want to express too much as that's just as bad as repressing emotions and i know we've all bottled emotions at some point and it never really ends well <clears throat> uh, uh the the key is called constructive emotional expression and there's quite a few steps or not quite a few but there's a few steps uh they include recognizing the emotion that you're feeling uh choosing the best language to describe that emotion uh, taking responsibility for that emotion and then ch like choosing the best time and place to express that emotion. And then emotional contagion is also uh, really important for my example, I would say. Uh, emotional contagion is when someone is in this, that's in the same room, you, their emotions tend to spread. So if we're in the same room and I'm happy, you're more likely to be happy. If I'm mad, you're more likely to be mad. Uh, I, I would think of it as like, you know, when you could like feel the air in a room, you know, <laughs> like those, those feelings of like anxiousness or anger could spread throughout a room. Uh, and I think it's important for my example, because uh, what I picked is a, a really good form of emotional expression, in my opinion. It's called A Crow Looked at Me by Mount Erie. <clears throat> now this album is probably the saddest thing I've ever heard. Uh, it is about Phil Elvram, who is Mount Erie. Uh, his wife, back in 2017, his wife passed away. And it's right after the, the birth of their first daughter. And it's the saddest thing ever. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, I couldn't imagine living through that. But the way he goes about it uh, on this album is super expressive. Uh, he talks about how art is dumb and he shouldn't even be making it, but he makes it anyway. And you really get a look into how he was feeling in like throughout that year, throughout that time that he was feeling so sad and grieving and why I thought emotional expression was so important for this example is that an album like this, you don't want to listen to it in the morning or it will ruin the rest of your day. But why I think this album is great for emotional expression is that he really picks a lot of the, the right points. And what I mean by that is that he, he hits all the marks when it comes to constructive emotional expression. He recognizes his grieving process. He chooses a lot of very like passionate language. Uh, and I mean, how could it not be passionate? It's very personal but he really respects what has happened. And, you know, he knows that there's no going back and he want as much as he wants to, you just can't. <laughs> and then for choosing the right time and place, uh, he, he released it to the world. Uh, basically every moment is the right time and place for him. Uh, you can go and hear it right now. So following that, uh, I have two questions how do you express emotions and what media do you use to accompany those emotions that you're expressing?